Uh, oh, wait, what the heck? Get this out of here. Good. So, I made Mario in Minecraft. Well, it's just one level, but it's pretty much fully functional. And the best thing is, I made it so that it's really easy to make a level yourself. Like, really easy. So, first I'll show you some parts from this level, then I'll show you how you can make your own level. And lastly, I'll show you some techniques I used to build this entire... Uh, thing. So yeah, everything works pretty much like in the original game. There are super mushrooms, Goombas, Starmans, Green Koopa Troopas, coins in blocks, more coins in blocks, more coins in blocks. I even added this hidden life, which by the way doesn't do anything because there's only one level. And that's about it. It's not that much. It's not that much at all. So of course it took me like, what, one day or so to make all of this? Anyway, I can see the look on your faces. You all want to make your own level. Well, let's go then. It is really easy, just open your inventory, you'll see exactly what every block does. This one for example, just place it somewhere in the level and whenever the player hits the block, a super mushroom will appear. Then there are also scenery blocks, just place them one block behind the level and you'll... Well, that doesn't really need an explanation, does it? And lastly, there's also stuff you can spawn. This Goomba for example, just stand anywhere in the level and place it underneath you. When you don't, you'll see that the entity isn't transparent, that means it isn't active yet. Just stand right inside the block and you'll see it becomes active. In order to remove them again, push it a bit so he will move and then just place this block. It's still there, but once you restart the game you'll see that he is indeed gone. To restart the game, just kill yourself. Like in the game, don't actually kill yourself, just type slash kill. There's one more thing you need to know. It's kinda hard to detect when one of these entities hits a block, so they'll just pass right through them. In order to prevent that, just place this block here and stand in it. And from now on, all the entities will move in the other direction when they touch that block. Now let's say you placed one of those blocks over here somewhere and you want to remove it, but you don't exactly know where it is. Just splash this potion saying see technical blocks and now you can see where it is and remove it using this block. And that's pretty much all you need to know. When you want to make a level yourself you can download the template map in the description as well as this level as well as the resource pack. Because you may or may not have noticed it but I am actually using a resource pack. I feel like I'm talking too much, so we'll just look at me failing for a while. Good! Now let's get to that part where I tell all kinds of complicated stuff and everybody be like, Oh my god, what is he talking about? Well, let's get started with the detection of the blocks. Of course, you can just use execute and test for block, but when you actually want to replace that block, you might get some trouble when the player is moving too fast. That's because you have to deal with this comparator which has a short delay, so the set block command is powered a few ticks later. To fix that I used 5 wither skulls. This wither skull is being teleported to this one, this one to this one, this one to this one, this one to this one and the last one to the player. In that order, all in one tick. This way you basically get a trail of wither skulls. Those are all making the exact same movement except they are all moving one tick behind. So now you can execute the set block command on one of these skulls and then it should be working fine. Now about the entities, because what is actually going on over here? I don't know why I asked that question, because I made it myself, so why wouldn't I know what is going on? <laughs> it's just a squid summoning falling sand. That's it, when you go in game mode 3, you can actually see the squid. So here's the execute command, and that is about it. <sighs> Remember when I had videos like these where I explained in great detail what was going on exactly? Well, I would like to do that again, but look how big this stuff is. I can't explain what every command is doing. So what do you think? Should I make easy stuff that is easy to explain? Or complicated stuff that is hard to explain, but pretty awesome? So usually I end my videos in a funny kind of way? Well, not today. Ha! Huh. You're like watching all my videos all the way to the end because you want to see the ending. Well, no funny ending today. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa, oh my, what? My chair just broke, what, what the? Hmm, you win this time, internet, you win this time! Oh 
Spuren op mijn pop veel te 